Well, because they know the truth. They know what happened. I mean, I've had over a year to go around and have that discussion on national radio, national television, everywhere I've been asked those difficult questions. And it was important. In fact, this campaign afforded me the opportunity to go to the party and explain some of them to some of them what they did not understand about what happened. First and foremost, it is very clear. What happened in 2015 was unjustified. It was illegal. It wasn't according to our procedures. But it's something I like to put behind me. I don't want to reside in history. Do you delegates, it, they understand this? A lot of them feel a sense of sympathy that I was not treated properly by this party. I'm, I'm, I'm general Secretary was not even paid a cent of my due. But at the time, the party had consensus that you had to go. I don't, I don't think you can say that. I don't think you can say that. At least See, the, the constitution decision of the party, came to the constitution conclusion. of the party is very clear. If you want to remove the principal officers of our party, like the party chairman or the general secretary, you've got to go back to Congress. First and foremost, the petitions that were filed were never filed at the party secretariat. The steering committee never had the opportunity to look at it and determine on the face of it and initiate action. It found its way straight to the disciplinary committee, which was irregular. It is something that should not have stood, but as you said, it happened. And as a political figure, I love my party. Sometimes you take these hits, but in life you take the highs with the lows. So I've gone beyond that. I don't think if really the president felt that I did not mean well for him, he would call me to join him in his re-election in 2020. 2020.